How's it going guys? It's Josh here. Let's talk USB hubs. Cue the intro. Right, so as I was saying, we're going to talk about USB hubs. Now, before we do that, let's talk about USB devices. Now, USB is the most commonly used external peripheral connection nowadays, okay? Anything from your mouse, to your keyboard, to your headphones, to your USB mic, to your audio interface, to your launch pads, to your DJ effects controller, to your joystick, your anything. They all use USB. Now, how many ports do you get on a standard motherboard? Usually there's about six on the back and you might get two on the front or on the top as well. So let's let's go with eight, okay? So you've got eight. Now I can list more than eight devices because I use more than eight USB devices, okay? You got flash drives, you might have a couple of them connected. So the day will come, it might not now, but the day will come when you go, I've, I've run out of USB ports. But don't fear because we have a solution. The solution is USB hubs. Now you're probably thinking, I, I already know I can use a USB hub, so what, what, what's the point of this video? But I was wanting to talk more about power, okay? So if I just show you this real quick, you've probably seen one before. What happens is you plug this in to your USB port on your computer and you get four off of it. So you've effectively gained an extra three. Now it's got individual switches to switch them on and off, which is a nice little feature. But, you decide to plug into this a flash drive, your keyboard, and maybe a launch pad. Yep, you plug it in, you go, great, I've got more USB ports now. And then you suddenly get the dreaded error message. One or more devices was not recognized, or something along those lines. Now, the issue here is power. Alright, because you might now have more USB ports and think, brilliant, I can plug more stuff in, but power becomes an issue. Now a good way you can think about this is if you buy a multi-plug for your plug socket at home and you want to plug stuff into it, it's probably not going to be a good idea to plug six kettles into it or six hair dryers. Why? Because you're just trying to draw too much power off of one socket. Now in the case of that, you probably set your house on fire, so definitely don't recommend doing that. With this, you're probably not going to set your house on fire, but your devices are just not going to work. Now, as we just said a minute ago, the issue here is power. If you look very carefully on the side of this, see just there, we have a slot for a power source, okay? We can plug an adapter into there and plug it in the wall. What does that actually do? Well, off of one USB port, it's possible to get 500 milliamps. If you've got lots of devices that you're running off it, once you've used up the 500 milliamps, that's it. You're not going to have enough power. Like we said before, a lot of devices vary in power, power usage and consumption, so you have to bear that in mind. But what connecting a power supply to this does is it gives you 500 milliamps off of every single USB port. So that's fantastic. Now you're not going to have an issue with running any of your devices off of this. One other thing that still remains a problem is the data bandwidth. Alright, because just as we said a minute ago, you can only get 500 milliamps of power off of any one USB socket. You're also limited in the data bandwidth that you can use. What this means is, is that if you've got four flash drives plugged into this, you might have enough power for them, but the, the data bandwidth is still going to be split. So it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get full speed across all of those four, four flash drives. So hopefully that makes sense. Now there's a few different ones you can get. You can get one like this. This one is an Amazon one, an Amazon Basics. I think it was about three pound. And I just have plugged into this. I have a mouse, I've got a keyboard, and it runs absolutely fine. But it's just one thing to bear in mind, because I know some people have experienced it before, I know I have as well, where you plug in your devices and you're like, it must be broken, because it's, it's not working. It's not broken, it just needs more power. So, go and grab yourself a power supply. There are different USB hubs, some come with a USB, not a USB, <laughs> a power supply, and some like this, they have no option to. So, just bear that in mind when you're thinking of buying one. And that's about it, really. I hope this video has helped you a little bit today, guys. If you liked it, leave a like. That would be absolutely fantastic. It'll help the channel to grow. And subscribe. 
it would be awesome if we could get to 50 subscribers by the end of next month. That would be insane. So if you're watching this, guys, subscribe because I'm very active on the channel. I upload a lot. So if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.